Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Sahil Jain, and I'm a VP at New Lab. I've been with the team for several years, and I'm really excited today to introduce our first startup, uh, Mythos AI. Mythos AI are disrupting the maritime logistics space by developing technologies to autonomize shipping in maritime. We had the pleasure of working with the Mythos AI team last year and helping them do a first-of-a-kind pilot in the Great Lakes through our partnership with Michigan Central. As, as Jeff will explain later on today, in our platform in, in Michigan, we've been working with the Port of Monroe, a strategic port on one of our country's most important waterways, the Great Lakes, and helped the port actually think about applying this autonomous technology and hydrographic surveying in order to improve the port's capabilities of taking in different types of ships. So um, without further ado, I'm excited to introduce Jeff Douglas to the, to the stage, the CEO of Mythos AI. Thank you, guys. It's great to be here. It's a beautiful day in New York. And uh, I hope I get to kind of educate you guys on something you probably aren't super aware of. So my name is Jeff Douglas. I'm CEO and co-founder of Mythos AI. I met my co-founders many years ago developing autonomy for the US Navy. At one point, they left. They started developing self-driving car tech for Uber, for Lyft, for Argo AI. They came back to me a few years ago and said, Jeff, the marine industry is truly in the Stone Age, and we learned warp drive. We want to develop autonomy for an industry that actually needs it. And that's what we set out to do at Mythos AI. The first products we're creating accelerate the decarbonization of the shipping industry. Shipping is currently the fifth largest emitter of greenhouse gas emissions. If it were a country, it emits the equivalent amount of the country of Japan. And though moving goods around on ships is a very good way to move goods, the system is actually extremely inefficient. And one of the largest inefficiencies in shipping is caused by the fact that we are unable to update navigation charts as quickly as the depths change. At ports all around the globe, we actually don't know at any given time how deep the water is. How do you load a ship if you don't know how deep the water is? Well, you do it safely. You light load them. You go, we don't know how deep it is. Let's put less stuff on these ships so they're lighter in the water. There have been studies that have found that if we can get up-to-date depth data to the industry faster, we can increase the efficiency of moving vessels around the globe by as much as 30%. And this is what we set out to do with our entry to market. And this brings us to our pilot project and to kind of the crux of the problem here. This is an image of the Port of Monroe. Please note all of this stuff kicked up, right, on the screen. This is sedimentation. Every single time we move a ship in and around a berth, we move the bottom. The thrusters from the tugs kick up sedimentation in one spot. They move it to other spots. We end up with low spots and high spots. It's faster than we can actually chart it. So therefore, this causes huge vulnerabilities in the supply chain. How do we know if it's safe? And this ends up backing up shipping. So you might say, Jeff, this is crazy. We've been moving stuff around forever, right? Um, how is it that we don't have up-to-date depth data? Well, we don't. What you're looking at is the most up-to-date depth information available at the Port of Monroe right now. It's provided by the federal government. The white area is the shipping channel. These vertical things are cross-sections they take for depth measurements. And these are numbers they read like, 20 feet, 19 feet, 18 feet. But please note that this area down here in blue, this is where the ships tie up, and there is no data there. So it's great that we understand maybe what it, how deep it was in September of 2023, but we don't know how deep the berth is. So how do we still know if we can get these ships in? Shipping companies have to tie together all sorts of different information to try to make these plans. It's very risky. So in Mythos, we were aware of this, and we created Archie. Consider it a Roomba for the ports. Traditionally, hydrographic survey is extremely challenging. It takes highly skilled people many weeks, sometimes months, to turn something around and something industry can use. And in that time, the bottom changes. So we automated the whole process. What you're seeing here on the left, you can box an area. Our boat will fill it with data. That's this yellow stream. It's like a 3D point cloud. On the right, which is really tricky and I'll get to later, Mythos is developing autonomy and self-driving in the ports while we are mapping. And what we spit out is this. This is a comprehensive 3D model of the seabed. This is a digital twin to ensure the safety of navigation and therefore the economic security of the ports and states that are adopting our technology. New Lab was aware of us, thankfully. I love New Lab, I just want everybody to know that. They're like, been one of the greatest things that happened to us. And uh, they pitched this to the Port of Monroe. Port of Monroe went, I need this. We're actually concerned that we're gonna start losing business because shipping companies don't understand how deep it is, if it's safe or not to get their ships in and out of here. 
and Michigan Central backed the project, which was awesome for us. Porter Monroe, so everybody knows, is where this little red star is. It's down in the bottom of Michigan. It's very close to other ports in Ohio. It's actually a pretty competitive little area uh, in the Great Lakes. And the port director said, hey, I need you to survey everywhere the federal government's currently responsible to do it. I need up-to-date data on these areas so I can inform shipping. And so he said, for an eight-week period, I want you to survey every time a ship comes into port. And we did. And he said, I want you to survey every single time a ship leaves port. And we did. And then he said, I need you to put it in a platform that I can share with everybody, my shipping customers, so that I can prove to them it's safe to come here, to the Army Corps of Engineers, so I can tell them exactly where I need dredging, to my engineering firm, so I can plan the future expansion of my port. And we did that. What you're looking at is a screenshot of a digital twin of the Port of Monroe. It's a 2D view of a 3D model of the port. It's all web-based, so he can share the link with his customers. And this is the exact same, this is zoomed in, this is the exact same area I showed you earlier where there's a lot of missing data, right? And we learned a lot. This catches what's going on. I hope you guys can see this from the podium, but these green areas, these are deep spots. The red areas, yellow areas, shallower. What's happening is the tugs are moving ships into the berth and the thrusters are digging holes here and here and here, and they are filling in the waterway. And this area where there's actually no data available to the industry, it's the shallowest part of the port. So this is the crux of the problem that we're solving uh, here at Mythos AI, getting this data to everybody that needs it as soon as they can. You're actually seeing two data sets overlapped on each other. So the first time ever, not only is it real time data, he can say, hey, how did it behave over a six week period? And we found that over six weeks, the, the deep areas got deeper, the shallow areas got shallower, and in some areas as much as half a foot. A half a foot of cargo on a ship can be a couple million dollars worth of stuff. Or it could be the difference between running aground and not running aground. So this is super valuable information. The port director has it. He can share it with his customers. He can ensure the economic vitality of his port and the future expansion of it. So the outcomes, he, they were able to secure customers. They were really concerned that they might lose them because they couldn't supply this information. They told us they secured them. Porter Monroe also has a country's, Michigan's first container terminal is being built there. And so they're taking this data platform and they're presenting it to future customers to secure their business. You should come here, we can ensure the navigational safety of our port versus the other ports in the region. For Mythos, this is a win. Port director told us what to build, we built it. So we got product market fit. We took it to other ports and states and DOTs all around the country. Well, and we have secured a significant sales pipeline with this exact data offering. Um, we have also on A16Z's list of top 50 American dynamism AI companies, and they specifically mentioned this pilot project in the write-up about that. So one other huge win for us on this is while we were surveying, we're training autonomy. And what you're looking at is one of our vessels navigating a very tight channel in Florida at 30 miles an hour. It is avoiding channel markers. It is avoiding other vessels. It is obeying the rules of the road. This is the most advanced self-driving vessel technology that we're aware of. This is the future of mobility. Think autonomous ferries, autonomous people movers, and autonomous cargoes in cities like New York. This is the future of recreation. Boating is super hard. If we make it easy, we can scale the market. If we're controlling it with autonomy, we can ensure that people aren't destroying the environment that they're enjoying. And this is the future of shipping. In Michigan, there's a huge workforce shortage of mariners. Actually, this is global. There's hundreds of thousands of people short. Shipping companies are trying to figure out how do we scale to meet demand of the global markets. And they are looking at autonomy as a single solution to do that. So we're currently fundraising to bring these products to market for the industry. And we're also actively connecting with other states and DOTs who want to ensure the economic resilience of their ports, which ensure, ensure what's ensures the economic resilience of their local economies. So that's it for Mythos AI. This is the really exciting stuff that we've been building uh, for New Lab through this pilot. So thank you guys. Thank you.